I'm actually pretty scared of meeting Virgil. On one hand, I did successfully give him the antidote for him to hopefully turn back into a human since he's been a super mutant for how long? But at the same time, what if said antidote didn't work? What if he's just stagnant with his disease? I mean, I really hope he doesn't blame me for anything. I mean, let's see what happens. It's been a while since we've seen Virgil, so... I'm gonna be as optimistic as possible with this, so... Oh! <gasps> no! Oh my god, that's you? Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. Oh my god, Virgil! This is a qualified success? There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more work. Still, I take your point. This is a significant advance, but only for one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk, if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. Oh my god, I am so happy! Like, Virgil. Virgil. Hmm? Did you need something? Like, I'm so happy he's a human again! Kate! Hey, point out what you need and I'll get right on it. What do you want? Um, your thoughts? Your thoughts? Like... Rounding up a bunch of escaped synths is about as much fun as catching rad roaches. Hope you have fun with that. Kate, you're really messed up. Like... And you can tell on my face I'm actually pretty annoyed with How it. How do you feel about us? Could be worse. Could be better. What do you want? A daily report? You know what? I'm about to switch That's to another that. companion sure. because you're starting to really get annoying. But other than that, I'm happy Virgil's all set, Sorry, I'm so... Busy right now. I do want to check on the the synth back in the Institute to see how he's going because he did tell me to give him a day to let him tie up loose any ends. So let me run out here and then we can definitely do a quick check on Z114. It must make you proud to see all that father has done, all that he has built. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty happy that he made a life for himself, but at the same time, I'm actually pretty sad at the fact that he is basically a puppet to this whole organization. Ask my friends if they take up arms for their freedom. I was surprised at the number of volunteers. Perhaps once the fighting begins, many others will join us. But we will fight and die very quickly unless we have weapons. A lot of them. Given the right materials, we can make our own crude but serviceable weapons. Unfortunately, we're missing a few critical ingredients. What ingredients? Gunpowder, laser focusing crystals, and a couple other things. I have weapons I could give you. Excellent. Deposit anything you can spare in maintenance closet 3B. But we need enough weapons to arm an entire rebellion. So the ingredients are still necessary. Couldn't we just steal some weapons? All yeah. munitions are tightly guarded by the SRB. Never mind. Even if we managed to take some, it would certainly be noticed. And surprise is essential to everything. Fighting the Institute with crappy weapons is a horrible idea. We outnumber the scientists many times over. We just need more than our fists. We've come up with a plan for the weapons. The Institute's always expanding. Excavation just completed on one of the sublevels. Go the on. The equipment has been packed into crates and they haven't been moved yet. That equipment has everything we need. Thanks to Mr. Binet, the construction crew is populated solely by my friends. But they're under constant supervision. How do you feel about killing some guards? How do I feel? How do I feel? I'll do it. Thank you. After you eliminate the guards, we'll move the supplies and blow up the tunnels behind us. To the SRB, it will be a tragic construction accident that killed many synths. Rare, but not unheard of. And then... Our dead friends can assemble the weapons we need. Good luck. 
honestly, I'm in the mood to kill. Now, question is, what do I do? Let me see. Let me go through my quest again. On my little data here. So, I have the option to deposit weapons, which, honestly, I do have a few dozen to spare. Because, you know, I love how... I love to just pickpocket dead people. So, deposit weapons for rebels. I want to see where that is. Let's Let's head out. Nothing to report, ma'am. Cool. Let me see right here. What's this? Ooh, bingo. So let me see why I can... Well, I do have... There you go. You know what? Let me see here. Um... I could definitely get rid of a couple of grenades and whatnot. No, 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 not this one. This one. There you go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a shit show. I can just feel it right now. Minigun? No, I need that. Damn, look how much cocktails I have. You know what? They can have it. They can have this too. They can have this too. Yeah, this I can't wait for this. This is gonna be insane. Um they can keep that, they can keep that. A lot of these weapons I don't even need, honestly. Fifty percent more damage to Wait, 50% more damage against robots? Haha. <laughs> Alright, that should be enough. Did you just watch me the whole time? That project you helped with, it's coming along. You understand, right? Liam. That project you helped with, it's coming along. You understand, right? I don't know, Liam. Do you understand? Anyways, let's go. I have a nice little target practice to go to. The commissary is always open. Would you like some processed sustenance packets? No, thank you. I appreciate it, though. Okay, so where am I going exactly? Wait, the door's over there. So... I hate getting lost in this bitch-ass place. It's like a mine maze. Alright, let's go. Up. Oh. Right in here in this dark, suspicious, creepy elevator? Yes, please! Let's go. You know, I hate being in these ele elevators. They're always so creepy, and for what? Alright, so... Those are the ones I have to kill, huh? Oh, I am not using that. I am sorry. Minigun? No, I'm not. I'm... Unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Oh my god, and you're right next to me. I'm sorry, buddy. I love how you're just smacking me. Oh, <gasps> she got the shank. I love it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Ooh. 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 Damn. Oh, we got one. Come on, honey. Can I help you? No? Shit. I just love how they're using all these weapons. And, um, let me see here. I need a stimmy because I'm injured, so... Do I even have a stimmy? No, I don't! Oh my god. Okay, I'll just swing it, I guess. These guards are pretty hard to kill, like... Come on, man. Die already. Okay, we got one. Ooh, move out the way, move out the way. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. 
die already, bro. Come on. They're, they're really eating up this laser. Both my arms are injured. Like... Ooh, someone's getting a whoop ass. Ooh. We got one down. I just don't want to hurt anyone. Please. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, are you okay? That's exactly what I want to do. Oh, oh, look at him defending for me. <gasps> are you dead? Okay. Stay right there. I got you. I got you. No one's gonna hurt my sim. No one. Come on, right in the crotch. There you go. See? Crotch attack. I love it. Johnny Key, do be proud. I love how he's just stabbing the robot. Ooh, ooh. I am not getting good vision here. Alright, so no stimmies. Both arms are injured. But it's okay because I'm still alive. And one of the sins is just shanking this guy. I love it. Alright. Dead. I love it. Thank you, stranger. Leave now. Soon, this will all be under rubble. Remember Z1's plan, everyone. Grab everything we can use. The crates, especially. Ooh, I am dizzy. Tell Z1, we will fight when the time comes. Okay, say no more. I'm just going to skedaddle. For us. Yeah, I know. Because you know why? Because I have a synth of my own. And she's a follower. And every time I see you guys, you remind me of her. So why weren't I help? I mean, come on. Why weren't I help? Curry has always been good to me. It would be such a Kome Google move on my end to only be good to curry but be hateful towards all the other sins like that would not make sense at all all right so i did manage to leave act like nothing has happened was that the explosion oh my god Okay, Sounds saying like that, at, at the same time, is a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. You have done your part, and we'll do ours. Weapon construction will begin immediately. Have any problems? There's been no alarm. Good. My friends have all the time they need to get what they want, and cover their tracks. Any news about Liam? Liam's got his terminal working. When the time is right, we have someone who can operate it. I'll stall Liam as long as I can. But he's anxious to proceed with the old plan. Of course you he is. should avoid him if you can. If he had any idea what we're up to, I fear he'd report us. Well, if he does, you know what I, what I like to say. Snitches get stitches. This is a good start. The greatest challenge remaining is keeping all of this secret from the SRB. So we're being very careful. Which, unfortunately, takes time. For now, please continue working with Father. We can't afford for him to grow suspicious. When my people are ready, I will contact you. Yes, yes, yes! I just love sabotage- sabotizing- Fuck, I can't even say the word right. I just love ruining my son's plan. Because even though he has complete faith in me, and loves me, and is willing to give his company to me, I'm just going to take a big fat shit on him because I just don't believe in the institute like that. Like, I hate this place. Speaking of hating this place, I actually want to leave, so... What other quests can I do at this point? Um... You know what? I'm going to go and do a couple of other quests, so... Next clip will show me the next quest. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Hello, Kate, and hello, world. I'm back. I'm back at it again. And honestly, I know I don't say this enough, but I really do appreciate you watching my Fallout 4 series. 
And the fact that you actually picked this video to watch definitely makes me happy. So I'm definitely going to make sure I entertain you as much as possible within the time frame of this video. So we are heading to... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You know, I really gotta get the mechanist quest down pat because seeing these rust devils out and about is actually pretty annoying to me. It's like you're trying to mind your business and they have the audacity to try and kill you. And for what? I'm not even a robot. You can't even harvest any robot parts for me. So why would you try and kill me in the first place? No, I'm not having fun. I know Kate is though, because she's always trigger happy. Oh shit. There goes my arm. Always with the arm. Like, why? Why do you always have to aim with my arm? A legendary. Of course I'm missing with a legendary Rust Devil. No, you made a big mistake because even though I look like a noob, I have mods, so... Alright, so let's keep going with my injured arm because for some reason, every time I go to the cheat room, get my 65,000 stems, for some reason, they magically disappear. And it's being... It's so annoying. It's like, bro, what's the point in getting mods if... Yeah, I can't jump this high. I'm gonna die. It's like, bro, what's the point in me getting a mod if I'm not able to use said mod? Like, come on. Alright, I guess we have to backtrack here because I am so bad with directions. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, no. This is bullshit. And it's a legendary. Why? 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 Oh my god, bro. They're aiming at me! For what? Oh my god, I'm dead. Actually, I'm not dead. I got mods. Yo, why are you smacking me like that, bro? Like, you're literally food. You have no right to be bitch smacking me like that. Alright, so I have one injured arm so far. I'm surprised my ass wasn't eaten. Can I just get to this quest already, bro? Like, I just... I just want to do this quest. Okay. I just, you know, the continuity in this game is non-existent because suddenly I'm healed. What the hell? Let him up. Oh my god. You know what? Where's my- where's my- yes. I need my flare gun. At this point, I know K is going to be hurt. A boomer? Hello, boomer. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, did I kill you, Kate? No, I didn't. Just stay down, bro. Oof. Damn. Alright, so I discovered this nice little post here. And... Honestly, look at this. Look at this dumbass. Like, who are you trying to hide? I am rule with dealing with these legendary bullshits. Like, come on. Alright, so I have to build and activate a recruitment beacon, so... Let's head over to this workshop here that has a comic book. Hell yeah. Oh my god, nice. You know what would be even more nice? For, like, merchandise? Fallout 4 definitely lost their opportunity to actually turn some of these comic books into posters. Like, I would actually buy a couple of them. Alright, so I need to build a defense on top of that. Okay. Well, first, let me just... Um, 
where is the beacon? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do defense first. Why not? Make every shot count. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, got that. Got that. I just, I just love how they're attacking that random. I'm gonna put it right here, right next to this dead one right here. Yeah. Okay, so how much defense do they have now? Nothing? I think they have plenty of we defense. Good luck. I just realized that those were the Minuteman, and they just came to help after I just killed how many people? Fucking bastards. Alright, they should be good with the, with the defense. Now, in terms of... I don't want to craft anything. You know, I totally forgot how to do this. It's been so long since I did basic stuff for a settlement. I totally forgot how to build the beacon. Where is it? Hold on. Right here. Nice. It took me a hot second, honestly. That is so sad. How is this? power you know what the radio could be right here right and then I'm gonna build a nice little generator to power up said beacon and we're off and it's on And let's go Princeton, because at this point, Kate, I actually want a new companion, so. Oh, come on. There you go. All right, let's head on out. Preston. Yo, this guy stay hiding behind houses. Like, why? What's... Stop sneaking. Stay bro. sharp. Don't let your guard down. Okay. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. Why am I not surprised? You can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. Do I have to, Preston? Because it seems like I'm doing all the work and you get to sit on your ass. Curry? Do you need something, madame? Yes, honey. How are you doing? I find myself wanting to set out again and see the world. I am tempted to do this on my own, but there is so much danger. I hope we can renew our partnership. For science, of course. You know what? That's music to my I'd ears. I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. Yes, honey. Yes, let's go. We must find the men of science and institutes of learning. Surely they are out there still. Yeah, they're out there. They're just uh, being dictating bastards. But anyways, let's head on out. You know, I really don't appreciate the scary noises every time I go into the railroad headquarters. Oh my god, what, na what now? Of course she does. Move. What happened now? We've got Talk an emergency. To me. Mm -hmm. Lori spotted a courser near Dayton Safe House. Oh we shit. We were hoping Bunker Hill bought us some time, but the institute's continuing to dismantle our operation. You don't say. Is the situation that bad? Whenever we spot a courser, everyone hides. We hide deep, we hide long until Giggity. we know we're safe. We've never stayed around to see how fast the institute can find and kill us all. So we're treading new ground here. All that if you spot a single courser? It sounds extreme, but we've paid dearly for that bit of wisdom. Every time a courser is spotted, death and destruction follows. Damn. Well, you know what, girl? I got you. Can I lend a hand? Yes. Ticonderoga safe house has gone dark, and I need you to check it out. Hopefully this is a milk run. But if you do find a courser there, kill it. If there's no survivors, then your cover remains intact. 
Is this really worth risking my cover? Glory needs to evacuate Dayton, and you're the only other heavy we have. And if we don't use you now, soon there won't be any railroad left. Yeah, I'm not gonna... It's crazy. I could be walking straight into a trap. That's a distinct possibility. Here's hoping that they're just late checking in. Good luck. Glory. Wow, Des. I could use the dock. Mr. Smiley, too. Done. Grab anything you need from Tinker Tom. Hmm. Anything? It's not open season yet, but take what you need. Oh, I will. Everyone, we may have to evac on a moment's notice. Stay alert. Oh my god, it's getting that bad. Glory. I traded some lead with the courser outside Dayton. Watch your six out there. Desdemona. If Tycon falls, we'll be running out of places to hide since. Ooh, everything is Glory. intense. I traded some lead with the courser outside Dayton. Watch your six out there. All right, let me go I'm talk to Pam. And then after that, let's see what. Human machine interface to 100%. What's good, good day, Pam? Agent. My data indicates Mercer Safe House has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cash from any hostels in its vicinity. Black Ops cash? Like, we're talking Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4? Black Ops 2? Like, what's, what's good? What's in the cash? Contents are classified. However, if the cash is secured, it increases our organization's effectiveness by... Two percent. Only two? Margin of error is three percent. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. How does this device work? The device is calibrated to identify you as Colonel Johnson of the Defense Intelligence Agency. Colonel Johnson is authorized to access all DIA military ordinance in the region, designated Commonwealth. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Wow, all this little thing for me to get inside okay all right it looks like um things are heating up between the institute and the railroad and at this you point those vaults? you got too many teeth to be a scaver thank you if that's a compliment oh this is crazy it's like my son is asking for help and now the railroad is also asking for my help I am truly conflicted indeed. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.